to the end. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> it's JP and Javier from Honduras. Remember him from uh, my video uh, we did last week up on the roof. He was one of my helpers. And we got Jose over there sitting on his naga. <laughs> and my naga is caliente. Correcto. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we're in River Ridge, Louisiana today, and we have one active colony in between the floor joists overhead. I don't know if y'all can see it in the video or not right now, but I'll zoom in in a little bit. And then over about maybe uh, 10 feet or so, there's a dead out, and um, they told me they'd had bees there once before, I think a couple of years back, and uh, somebody had sprayed them. And uh, I could see the uh, black stains, the honey stains on the brick. So. We'd open that section up as well, just to pull out whatever was left. It looks like wax moth showed up big time, and probably roaches and other things, and they, they ate up most of the cone. Anything you want to tell the Spanish folks out there, Javier? Uh, yeah, okay, mi amigo acaba de decir that pues, vamos a menear esas abejas ahorita. Pues yo trabajo para, mi nombre es Javier Díaz Romero. My friend Honduras, um, trabajo para la compañía Abra Calada. My boss is yeah, uh, Trace. Eh, tengo tres años de trabajar con ellos. Vamos a manejar esas abejas ahorita. Y pues estamos aquí en Trace. Now in English. In uh, English. What, okay. what, what did you just say? En español. Dime. Okay, now I still working. Uh, you know. Yeah. I working now. I got to move the bees, in the house. You know. I told you all the people that are watching that this video, I'm not practicing in the house. It's dangerous for all the people. <laughs> you know? Me, I work it um, maybe two years, three more for company, Abra Calabra, how much? You know? My name is Javier, my current is Honduras. A friend, yes, a good friend. Uh, next friend is Trace, good friend, man, good company, my work is good. You know, somebody watching this video in Honduras. Okay, I and see you. And you like the uh, meal, right? Yeah, I like it honey, man. Mucho yeah. honey is good, man. <laughs> he loves yeah. meal. Nice yeah. honey, man. America honey is nice. Okay, I see you maybe in 10 years more, I come back to Honduras. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years? 10 years. I ten say here in America. We got to deal with you for 10 years? <laughs> All right, folks, here's the active colony. Okay. And there's the dead out right there. Let me show you all the honey stains. Hey, you want to my That's what happens when a honeybee colony is killed, okay? The honey drips down and it stains. I'll tell you what, they're really calm. They, they would come out and come right back in. They're really, really cold. Hi, Hunter. No, we didn't bring. We didn't bring the uh, the compound salt. My name is Hunter. Shake it to get the bees off. That's all, honey. Good. It's so hot out here, folks. I'll remove a comb, and I gotta take a break. I'll be honest with you. 
it feels like it's over 100 degrees. I mean, it is just plum, plum hot. Whew. Hoping I can do this without passing out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh boy. You're a brave man. A very brave man. Somebody got to do it, right? I don't do bees. I would be in trouble doing what you're doing. Well, come see. Huh? Come see this. I can't. I, uh, oh my god. And you're holding that with your hands? Uh -huh. Don't they hurt? If they sting Well, how are they not stinging you? Because I'm putting my fingers between them. I got a million of them. How can you put your fingers between the beads? Well, they move out the way. He's messing with the hive right now. Look at them. Oh, there's so many of them. Having to remove a cone section and then get away from it. Take a, take a break and then go back to it. That's how hot it is. Say it's 103. I believe it. Bees are cool. How do you super cool? Somebody's cool. <laughs> <laughs> all the comb I can transfer. That's it. You're out of frames? No, out of combs. How many you got left? Got some little small ones. Just honey. No more brood. The combs are out. Is there more? There's more. Okay. Bueno. Bueno. It's bueno. All right, folks, we, uh, we got all our combs out. Don't have the queen, uh, but she's up in there somewhere. I got my nephew bringing some bee quick over to me. I uh, got a new ladder rack, and I had to take my tool boxes off. And the one I normally keep my bee quick in, I don't have. So he's running it over to me, see if we can't joust her out. We got a bad storm coming, so I'm about to shut the camera off. And uh, anyway, we got, our, we got six frames of brood in the box. And a very, very gentle bees, but I think the queen went up underneath the siding. So I'm going to try to wrap this up and maybe we'll get some footage of the, the queen just a little bit. So that's it for now. Folks, our, our rainstorm has come and gone, and uh, as you can see, we got bees kind of all over the place. Still some bees, you know, checking out the spot. Most of them in here, though. But uh, there are eggs and young larvae. Hope y'all enjoyed this removal. Another bee removal brought to you by JP the Bee Man. Y'all have a good day. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, man.